Okay, we're gonna do a two-part workshop here on something that most people don't even think about. And that's your scalp. You know, a lot of people think about, well, I'm losing my hair, or my hair's not as thick as it could be, or beautiful, or shiny, okay? Or I just don't like the style of it. But remember, your skull, okay, it is one of the number one parts of you becoming not only aware, okay, but making so the part of your brain as above, so below can work, okay? And I'm gonna explain this real simple. Your brain has all these sutures around it, okay? And, and they have the parietal suture, the temporal suture, okay, the sagittal suture, occipital suture. These are all sutures and they look like little fingers. And when you breathe, when I breathe, the sutures open. And when I let my air out, this is your brain. It opens and it closes. Do you think yours opens and closes after 20 or 30 years of putting chemicals and weird things on top of your head? Okay, from shampooing, from conditioning, from, well, changing the color of someone's hair. Just from putting on hairspray or any type of thing. It's all stuck and it goes into the bone and it causes, this causes massive problems. Remember, this is your supercomputer. And that's why it takes a little bit of explanation to show you what we're gonna do here. We're gonna show you a scalp formula. I'm gonna show you a basic formula, number one, which is for YouTube, okay? And I'm gonna show you more of a medicinal pharmacological formula, which is for Earther Academy. And depending on uh, if you have exterior problems, okay, in your scalp, like uh, a lot of people have, uh, it's called skull cap. It's these big scabs on top of their head and it's just like, like sores. Okay, a lot of people have dandruff. Some people just have thinning of the hair or their hairline is receding, okay? So this type of formula that I'm gonna show you, okay, is like I said, a very special formula. I've been using this for a long time and I'm always adding to it. This 20 years ago when I used to do it, didn't have a lot of this in here. And I've just found out that there's a lot of different not only products, but different types of things you can add together to amplify certain things. And remember, we need to detox this head, number one. Number two, we need to take out all, detoxification means you're gonna take out all the pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fluoride, and everything that's stuck in your hair pores, in your skull. And you can tell if you have any in there, you can tap the top. You can hear my head, listen. There's no sponge. And on most people, they have about that much sponge and you're not supposed to have anything. It's skin just like this right here. It's supposed to be this thin on the top of your head. And when you get body fat, what happens? The skin gets thicker and thicker. And if you, you see the thickness of the skin, you don't see the veins anymore. And this is what happens in the skull too, but it's not body fat. This is toxicity and you can feel it in your head. These are people that can't do a headstand because their head's gonna pop. And remember, if this is plugged inside, remember, that means that all that toxicity is sitting on your bones, all your sutures are not calcified. So when you breathe, well, you're not getting the expansion of your brain. Oh, you don't like to exercise? I wonder why. Because if this doesn't open and close, this is one of the major reasons why people don't like to exercise. So we're gonna start from the top and work our way down because we keep working on the body, which is good, okay? We work on maybe the hands and feet sometimes. Sometimes we work on the skin, okay? But this is not for really beauty, but this is gonna help us. This is gonna help people get the hair mites out of their hair. Almost everybody has hair mites. Almost everybody has skin fungus, and I've gone this over many, many, many times, okay? And, and using these types of formulas, okay, in little different ways, okay, makes it so you can have your own sort of like medicinal warehouse at your house. Look, you can't rely on doctors. All I can tell you this, you can't. You have to become your own doctor. And you have to use things that are very reasonable and logical. And there's different layers of what we're gonna use. So the one we're gonna do on YouTube, this is the basic. And this is basically gonna really, really help a lot. And how we're gonna do this, remember? I'm just gonna go over this real quick here, the, 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 uh, the recipe. And what we're using is we're making a shampoo, a scalp formula. And we're gonna use some really good, simple soap, non-detergent soap. And I try to use, uh, 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 this is a Castile soap, okay? You can use uh, coconut soap, hemp soap, but you don't want any perfumes, any dyes, anything. This is just pure soap. But by itself, and this stuff does really clean. If you just use this on your hair alone, what does it do? It strips it, okay? It actually makes your skull 
go ahead and get, if you don't relubricate it, it makes it so it actually sometimes now is gonna get more hair lines because your body makes more oil to protect all the oil you just took off because this stuff takes your oil off. It strips it. But when we finish with what it is, it's gonna turn into a super soap. And then when your body makes a ton more oil and you wonder why you're losing your hair. Remember, hair mites eat sebum. They don't eat your hairs. And men and women both go ahead and get excessive sebum when they get too high of testosterone in their body. It's when you get the hormones when you're 12 and 13, you get pimples and stuff, and you get all this oil on your face. Okay, and that happens for women too. So you may get too much testosterone in your adult age, and you make a lot of oil. Maybe you don't have any testosterone, okay, because of glyphosate and atrazine and different types of things that are estrogen uh, or endocrine disruptors took away your hormones and now all you have is high estrogen. Now all of a sudden you have this other imbalance, your body's making all this oil. And I hope, hopefully you have enough oil in your body, okay, so it can keep on making it. So the idea, look, is real simple. This is why I like to teach people a ketogenic diet. The oils protect you. Okay, the oils, your brain's made up of, of, of a lot of oil, okay, it's fat. Okay, your, your, your body needs oil, it needs cholesterol, it needs a lot of things, okay? And if it doesn't have the oils, the sugars don't do all these things. In fact, a lot of times, like I said, sugars are good for you to use when you want to get explosive exercise or you need some explosive energy or energy that you need for a short period of time because that's all it is. It's quick burn. It's quick. Poof. Then all of a sudden you get, you need more fruit or you need to go ahead and take a nap sometimes. We've had fruitarians stay here and they have four or five big pieces of fruit and then they go take a nap. It's because they got sugar overload. Okay, so... Now, remember, there's many parts of this piece here, and all we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you, number one, remember, detoxification is number one. Number two is get the sebum out of your head, okay? Get the toxicity, the parasites, whatever lives in there, let's get it out. Let's re-stimulate. We're gonna re-stimulate with very strong light roast coffee. Light roast, not medium roast, not dark roast, not Italian roast light roast because it has the most caffeine in there. If you look up uh, some of these hair restorers, you know, that actually people take uh, like minoxidil or different things. If you look in there, you'll see that one of their chief ingredients is caffeine. It's a stimulator for the hair. So we're gonna add very strong coffee. You can use very strong yerba mate too. Either or works good, but make sure whatever you use doesn't have any pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, and make sure that you always, again, use distilled water because that's the only clean water you can get. So we're gonna add coffee to the soap. Wow, you ever heard of that one before, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and put in some ascorbic acid. I'm gonna show you how to make this real quick. We're gonna put in a small amount of sodium bicarbonate. We're gonna put in MSM. Remember, these are certain rebuilding elements. You need sulfur. That's why I like people to have eggs. What happens when you eat eggs? You get sometimes gas and what do you smell like? Sulfur, okay? The sulfur really helps you out, okay? So this is MSM. We're gonna use magnesium chloride with silica. It's combination in one. We're gonna use also iodine. Iodine's very special. Remember, disinfection, but not only disinfecting, but it also stimulates growth. Iodine, remember, they use in the hospital on everything, or used to, they don't use it anymore, not like they used to. And we're gonna use fulvic acid. And this is the basic recipe right here. Now, our other recipe that we're gonna use, um, uh, I'll have to show you how to use this one here, but we're gonna use, I'm gonna show you how to make our copper. And this is copper right now that I've just made. And you can see how it's got a little bit of a tinge in there. Let's see if I've got my, okay. If I, it's too much light on in here, but if I put this, this is a, a laser. Take this up. This is a copper rod in here, and what we're doing is, is we're making copper, electrolysis copper. Oops, there we go. Yeah, if I had this shut down right now, actually, just shut that light off right there. Let's see if, yeah, you still, but if this was in the dark, you'd be able to see, because if this was clean distilled water, when I shine my light through there, you're not going to see the light at all. It's shining on the particles. So maybe if I put it right here, I don't know if you can. I can see it in there, but it's not dark enough. Anyways, this would look like, shut that one off too, let's see. And then reach back that one, I'm done. Yeah, let's just see if we can see it. We've got a lot of light in the back down there too, okay? I don't know if you can see here, I'll put it against my shirt. Okay, here we go. Yeah. 
Can you see the, mm -hmm. okay? If this has parts in here of copper, you'll be able to see it. And that's what you're looking at with this laser. Okay, you're seeing the parts of copper in there. If this is distilled water, clean is clean. Okay, here it is right here. Let me just put a little bit in. You'll notice that you're not gonna be able to see anything at all in distilled water because distilled water doesn't have any particles in it. And the only reason you can see anything is because there's particles. So you can't see anything in there. Nothing versus, and this still needs another two hours to brew, but you can see, see the, I don't think. Yeah, I can see. Okay, now you can see it much better. Okay, now you can see it like that too. So this is made because this is an antifungal, and this is really smart to be able to put, remember, the scalp formula we're making here, this is the basic formula. This formula here is medicinal, and it's also more pharmacological, and we're gonna use different things, but you need to know this recipe and then play around with it too, okay? Um, actually, one thing we're, we've missed on the basic recipe, you're gonna use niacin also, and niacin is very special to stimulate. Remember, we wanna stimulate new hair growth. The caffeine is gonna stimulate new hair growth. The ascorbic acid, okay? All the different uh, minerals we put in and also essential oils. The essential oils are, are gonna activate a lot of the the, the things that live in the pores, okay, need, need to go ahead and, and no other way to say it, die. They need to be smothered. And the essential oils that I chose are lavender, clove, rosemary, okay, uh, cinnamon leaf, and you gotta watch that one because it'll burn your head, and clary sage. Any one of these, and you can use two or three of them, work well. The best ones if I wanted to go ahead and pick and choose would be clove and rosemary, okay? Those are the best and you use this in common, we'll go over the, the quick recipe. Then from this recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and use on, on part two, because the last thing I wanna do is get in trouble showing people some things that basically turn this into a very powerful restorative agent. Okay, so uh, this, on this side of the fence here, okay, that's why I have copper here. I'm gonna show how to go ahead and make copper several different ways. I'm gonna show you one right now, just so you know. Yeah, it's funny with the nice in the first place that I feel it when it comes on is in the top use, of my head. Use your head. Yeah. And the niacin, when you, when you put this on with the niacin, the reason why you're doing it, because this is an alchemy. The niacin, what it does, it's B3, and it's opening up the cell pore walls. And what it does, it lets out the histamine. It lets out a lot of the toxicity. And you'll feel it in your head tingling and itching, and it goes in the head first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you get copper? okay, that we're gonna use. You can do it a variety of ways. You can use it with electrolysis, and we shared with you how to make copper several different ways. And I'm gonna make this so this is about 100 to 150 parts per million. And the way I check that out is with a TDS meter, and we went over this thoroughly, but I'm not gonna go through it now. So if you don't have a TDS meter, you just make this for about three hours or so, and you can pretty much look at it, and it'll turn light brown, and it's pretty much done. Now, uh, how much you use of the copper, of course, is part of the recipe. Um, if, if you're gonna add any of the coppers to, to this at all, topically, it doesn't make a difference. Remember, it's an antifungal agent. You're not swallowing it, you're not putting it in your body. So don't get all weird if you think that the copper, you know, is gonna hurt you, it's not. This is a piece of copper I got from Home Depot, okay? 10 cents a foot. What you do is you clean this off first, you can clean it off with alcohol, just to make sure there's not any oil or anything. And you want it shiny. And I take a piece of sandpaper and I just sort of sh shine off the first piece, because who knows what it's got on there. This thing came from wherever it came from. But it's pure copper, and you can see how shiny it is now. Then what I would do is you can put this in fulvic acid. Just drop this. You can hear mine in here. This used to be this big. Listen to it now. It's a little baby. Okay, it's all dissolved in here, and now I have fulvic acid that's very powerful with, with broken down copper. And why are we gonna use the copper? Because copper is the best antifungal agent, and plus your body needs copper. It helps you restore wrinkles. It helps you restore a lot of different things that you need, copper restorers, remember? A lot of different uh, physiological problems. So you can take also this piece of copper, and where do you think you can put it? How about in here? Boop! Okay, and you're making copper. This is gonna dissolve this, because this is an alkaloid and this is a acid. So all you gotta do is just be a little smart. You can make this yourself. You can also take citric acid, which is right here, or ascorbic acid, vitamin C, okay? And you can go ahead and make a big solution of this, and you can just drop a piece of copper in here. And in time, it'll eat this. 
and you've got yourself, remember, the citric acid by itself is nutritional, but when you add the copper to it, it becomes medicinal. So learning combinations of things is very important, very important. And we're gonna show you how we're gonna use aspirin in this here, we're gonna use TSP, we're gonna use borax, we're gonna also add ubiquinol, okay, because I wanna regrow back hair, okay? We're gonna also add an EDTA, I want to get the heavy metals out of the brain. I want to get the heavy metals out of your skull. Do you think they're just coming out? No, they need to be chelated out, okay? We also have a turpentine soap that you're gonna go ahead and actually make sure. What do you think, you're gonna do this once? It's gonna wipe everything out in there? No, this stuff is deeply seated underneath the scalp. So the turpentine soap is a treatment and we'll show you how to use this. Turpentine is from the, the pine resin of a tree and it's low distilled, okay? a distillation process, and this has probably about a teaspoon in this bar of soap, best soap you've ever used in your life. Okay, and you put this on your hair and you let it sit for five minutes. It doesn't hurt, it smells, it smells, it smells like a pine forest, doesn't it? Doesn't that smell good? You'd think turpentine would, would stink because you clean paintbrushes and stuff out with it. Well, that's industrial grade turpentine. This comes straight from the tree and it's just low distilled and they put it in soap, Castile soap. Okay, so, um, the copper is very important, how you get it, okay, to add, remember, this is, needs copper. So however way you want to do it, remember, you can make the copper this way here, okay. I can put it in my fulvic acid and let it sit there for a week. And so then I'd go ahead and put it in the recipe, which I'll show you in a sec, okay. I can put it in vinegar, okay. I can put this on my salad dressings, okay. This is really good. You can put the vinegar if you wanted to. You're not worried about a little bit of your hair coloring. If you wanted to go ahead and clean everything up in there, the vinegar with the copper, the vinegar by itself doesn't do hardly anything. But the vinegar with the copper, put this on your skin. What do you think it does? It sanitizes it too, but it's the copper. Okay, it's not just the vinegar. Okay, and then we're gonna use creatine because that also stimulates the hair growth, okay? It's a mitochondria, mitochondria activator. Okay, so here it is real quick. This is, again, part one for YouTube. Uh, let me just go through my notes here real quick here. Um, the reason why this works really good, okay, if you want to get more medicinal is because of the aspirin. The aspirin. That's what makes it smart, okay? And you have to get real aspirin. This is 100% white willow bark right here, okay? And you can see white willow bark. What color is it? It's not white. It's brown, okay? What does it smell? Wow, man, <laughs> that's pretty strong. It's medicinal, take a whiff. Whoa, exactly, what does it smell like? Medicine, okay? Now, the way we're gonna do this, this is gonna be quicker. We're gonna pour, you don't have to do, remember, I make usually a solution. This solution that I make will last me a year. And I'm gonna use it all the time. When I shower, I'm gonna use it every time. It's not gonna hurt your hair. And in fact, what it's gonna do is gonna make your hair the smartest it's ever been. Remember, and the copper does help with gray. The copper does go ahead and help with any fungus that you have, any dandruff that you have, skull cap, all these different types of itching. Remember, a lot of people itch their head all the time and then they smell their fingertips and they go, whoa, that stinks. Okay, because I watch people. I go, scratched your head and they smelled their fingers or digging in their <laughs> ears. And I said, what's it smell like? <laughs> what do you think, no one's watching you? You scratched your head and you smelled your fingertips. This is my friend. This is stinks. I know, what do you think it is? Poop. This is the poop, the excrement that comes out. And it's, that's why our hair gets really oily and really nasty, okay, and stinky, okay? What is the copper gonna do and what is this program gonna do? It's gonna stop that. So, this is what we're doing here. It's gonna be quick, like I said. We're gonna put in about, I'm just gonna make a, this is uh, 40 ounces. So I put in about 20 ounces. Back. I got a little bit of this one left. Oops. Put the rest of this one in here. And when you make this now, you're not going to store it back in here. What are you going to store it in? Glass. Glass. Why? It's because we're putting some stuff in here that's going to pretty much eat some of the plastic up. Okay, so this is cool to store and this is a PET number one. I'm not sure what the cap is and stuff, but this is pretty much the best soap I found that's the cleanest. And the best so soap, like I said, it's already made, is this turpentine soap. Beautiful stuff. Okay, now, we got soap in there. Get the soap off my hands here. And now we're gonna put in niacin. I'm gonna put in 
2,000 milligrams of niacin. Maybe you can write this recipe down for me too, the way we're gonna do this. And these are 500 milligram pills right here. And these are capsules, this is powder. You don't wanna buy anything that's capsulated. Okay, in, a, in like a compressed capsule. It's got binders in it, it's got a bunch of garbage. You want, you want stuff, and this costs like $12 for this whole thing. You want capsules with powder. Look, I just open up the capsules and I dump it in. I don't want the capsules though. Mm -hmm. 2,000 of what? This 2, is 2,000 milligrams. milligrams. Each one of these are 500 milligrams, so here's 1,000. And what's this for? To stimulate the blood. Okay. Whew, that's got like a vitamin, like vitamin B smell to it. And this is two grams, okay? 2,000 milligrams. 1,000 milligrams is a gram. And if you took this much, this would be, whoa, way over the top. If you take 150 milligrams of this and take it by the mouth, what happens to you, Trevor? Mm-hmm, yeah. You get your money's worth as well, don't you? <laughs> Just B vitamins, okay? Smell it, smells like, you've, you had niacin before? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Have you, have you taken niacin before? <laughs> <laughs> okay. it, makes my, it makes my ears tingle. Well, this is what I'd like for you to do too, both you guys. Okay. Everybody that's basically going through fasting, uh, it's really good for you once you get stabilized, like you're, you know, right now. And both these guys are 14-day water fast, which is really heroic for your body to be able to disconnect from everything that's living inside you uh, on the 14-day mark. Seven-day water fast, you get this much disconnect. One-day water fast, you get, you know, that much connection. Some people do 30-day water fasts, okay? Your first water fast, is this your first? This is my first. First. No, second, second. And then how much was your first water fast? 13. Okay, yeah, that's heroic on nine. Is this, how many times have you fasted? Uh, just water, I did a three-day once. Three-day. Well. Yeah. And how hard was this to do? You did 14 days. It was, yeah, it was okay. It was, it was a workout though. Yeah, it was mentally hard. It was mentally. Physical. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not really physical, it's all in your brain. And there's some people that can't handle it, as you saw. You got a lot of things that unload in your head, okay? And, you know, each of these protocols that I'm showing with you guys, okay, the first thing to do is doing what you're doing right now is just to sort of disconnect a lot of the stuff. If not, you're trying to catch something you can't catch. First, you have to slow it down. And then the protocols that we're doing now, remember, the one I'm showing you for your brain right now is to sort of fix all this because I want you to exercise everybody and I want these cranial bones to open in and out, okay? And once they get soft inside there, then... Uh, this is why I brought this out, is because you're gonna break up all of the, the sutures in your head every day in the shower. You bring this in the shower with you or a type of device like this, you can use like even the, the edge of a glass. Um, but you, these work really good, I got it off of Amazon. And, and I'm, when I'm washing out my shampoo after I've kept this on for maybe three minutes the first time just to check and see if it burns my head, because you may have a lot of cuts in your head, this may burn you a little bit. Keep it on for three minutes if you can handle that. Next time, keep it on for five minutes. And next time, take it on for 10 minutes. And then after that, all you need to do is keep it on if you can for three minutes. But this treatment like this actually wipes out everything. And you try to do it three days in a row. When you're finished though, washing it out as you put it in the water. And if you can, try to do a wash it out with cold water. Cold water when you wash it out. Just put the cold water on and you take this thing and you really start scrunching. And you're gonna find spots on your head where it hurts. That's because those Calcium deposits on top of your skull, okay, need to be broken down a little bit by little bit, and you just work it. And the thicker your hair is, the harder it is to do, okay? But you can go ahead and actually do it, won't mess up your hair or one or anything else, and you just smash it on your head really hard. I use two hands when I do it, but you need the water to be able to, you know, give it so it's got like lubrication to it. So you don't do this, okay, for the first week though. You need to soften up your head, and this is gonna soften this up massively. Okay, so here we go, rest of this. Coffee, light roast, okay? Make it strong. Taste it. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> Hunter made it so you know it's strong. No, no, that's strong. <laughs> okay, remember, light roast is the strongest of the caffeines. People don't understand how this works with coffee. Dark roast or Italian roast is, Italian roast is like decaf because it takes 25 minutes to roast it and you're roasting off all the caffeine and what you're doing is, is you're, you're cooking the bean and then the flavor comes out. Italian roast has the deepest flavor and light roast has the least flavor with the most caffeine. That's why most people take the dark roast. It's sort of like in between, okay? But you need a light roast to make this so this works. You need very strong caffeine, and you need to brew it really strong. It's gotta be really dark like that, okay? And I'm gonna put in about three ounces. I got my little measure here. And you can put in more if you want to. Remember, we're mixing coffee so far. We're putting in niacin, okay? We put two grams or 2,000 milligrams, three ounces of coffee. 
We're gonna put now in citric acid. And what's citric acid? Or ascorbic acid? This is ascorbic. What is this? Vitamin C. Vitamin C? Vitamin C. Okay. Why are we putting vitamin C in the head? What do you think that does? This one. Where are the spoons, Trevor? Uh -huh. This one. I got a bunch of wooden spoons for you guys too. Okay, so you're gonna put in two teaspoons of this in here. Vitamin C, what does it taste like? Ascorbic acid. Tastes like sweet tarts. It tastes really tangy. It tastes like sort of like a lemon. Okay, and so I put in like one teaspoon, two teaspoons. Okay. And nothing's happening. This is not rocket science. It's really simple, simple stuff. It sounds like it takes a lot, but each one of these make a big difference if you use them or you don't. This is the basic formula, but this pretty much helps 90% of everything. This is for harder cases. This means you've got pharmacological, you've got medicinal, you've got all different types of problems, okay, that, that need deeper, deeper cleansing. Sodium bicarbonate, all we're gonna use on this one is half a teaspoon, you don't need too much. Half a teaspoon, I got like three quarters in that. And the citric acid, remember, and the sodium bicarbonate, they're gonna start working. You can hear them, they're bubbling a little bit. I don't wanna put too much of that. And they're just a half a teaspoon. And, this is MSM, okay? So we're gonna put in just as much as the, the uh, uh, ascorbic acid. I'm gonna put two of these guys in. One, two, two teaspoons. Put a little bit more in there. The MSM is really good. We've got sulfur for regeneration. Okay, now here's magnesium chloride, okay? With silica, so I don't have to use the silica separate. If you have the magnesium by itself, use the magnesium. And then we also have the silica by itself too. So you could use that, but this is already combined. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take the top off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a capful, like maybe a teaspoon, one, two. This is strong. What does this do? This pushes a lot of the stuff that we're actually putting in here into your head. I want this to go in. The magnesium, when you put this on your skin, that's why you put it on with coconut oil and you put it on with the silica combo. That's why we did this, so you don't have to mess around. And, you, and the magnesium drives it into your, your skin. So it takes the oil into your skin, which is the smartest thing your body needs. Mm -hmm. It needs oils to the skin. Okay, so now here's the fulvic acid part. Now, like I said, if you didn't know how to make the copper with the electrolysis or anything else, Okay, fulvic acid, what do you do? I already have my copper in here. Okay, I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna put like two big dropper fulls. And this has been, this used to be a piece of copper this big, you can hear it. This thing's tiny. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a big piece that it all wore down. <clears throat> it probably can't wear down anymore is because the copper actually made the acid in here not as strong anymore because this actually neutralizes and it can only break down as much as the strength of, of the fulvic so acid. There's copper in there? This has loaded full of copper. Mm. Yeah, yeah, loaded. It's because I put this in here, it's been here for about two weeks and the copper dissolves in here. Just like I can put it, like I said, I can put this in the, the vinegar, okay? And I was just gonna show you guys just real quick, I don't wanna jump around too much, but look, all the eggs, these are duck eggs that we have. You wash them off before you eat them, okay? I boil them, and then what do I do with these? Throw these out? These are loaded full of calcium. You know, I don't know how to make your own calcium. Calcium ascorbate, what do you think you do? I put these in the blender. I put in about maybe four ounces of this vinegar. I got a lot of calcium in here, why throw it out, okay? I put four ounces of vinegar in there. I blend it up on high, okay? I put in two dropperfuls of the fulvic acid with the copper. I could put in some MSM in there and I've got myself a super elixir solution right here. Super elixir, full of calcium. And you put this in your salad dressings. You could even feed this to your plants. They'll love it, okay? The calcium, remember the plants need, everything needs calcium. How do you get your calcium back in your body? You get it through green leafy vegetables. You can get it on from bones. You can get it from animals. I don't eat animals. So I try to go ahead and get calcium from plants and I have eggs. I do have eggs like uh, probably two eggs three times a week now, but I used to have them every night for years until my system basically, I I, if it calls for me, I have it. I don't need it because I used to before, I wanted it every night and I'd have up to six eggs at night. Okay, it's like a big soup like we said. 
okay? And you just two minute boil them. And this is part of your regeneration. And also raw cheese, raw goat cheese is really good for you, okay? That really helps, raw goat cheese with no RSBT. It's really smart, okay? Even raw milk, if you can get goat's milk. I, don't, I wouldn't drink the goat's milk, I would culture it and make cheese with it though, okay? Very smart, this rebuilds your gut wall flora. Okay, so that's, that's the basic recipe. Now all we're gonna do now is just add the essential oils. So on this one here, let's just make it basic. We're gonna use rosemary. I'm gonna put 20 drops in here, maybe 30. Doesn't matter, this makes it smell good, but not only that, this rosemary opens up the cell pores. It makes things go into the tissues. Uh, this is clove, and what is clove? Clove's got eugenol in it. It's a disinfectant, and it also is a, oops. This one doesn't have too much clove in it. So. I'd usually just put about 20, 30 drops of clove in here too. So since we don't have any clove, let's make it smell uh, not only good, but sage, because clove, remember, was also an, a disinfectant, so is the sage. So I'm gonna put it in here, clary sage, and we'll put it about 15 drops. And then this thing's ready to blend up, and that's it, okay? One last thing I forgot. Okay, iodine. This makes this solution so it's very powerful. It's the iodine. How many are we gonna put in? I'm gonna put in 30 drops of iodine, okay? And iodine, remember, is this is Lugol solution iodine. It's 2% iodine and it's potassium iodide and it's mixed together. And this is how I, every morning, I coat my whole throat every morning with iodine, just like I did yours that one day. And you do this every day for a while. And this is gonna help detox this, and you can also, same thing, you can also put copper in here, okay? It's really good. A lot of people have a lot of problems in their thyroid. Remember, parasites are everywhere. People think just worms are in their belly. How about worms, look it up. Ocular thalliasis worms in the eyeball, in the brain, heart worms, they're everywhere. So this is why these types of, of treatments, remember, it's just sort of starting a little bit at a time. A little bit here, a little bit there, and, and again, all you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna test the waters out. So when we make this, you can see all this stuff in there. You think if you put it on your head, you think it's gonna hurt? It could if you have cuts on your head. It could burn a little bit, okay? So try to keep it on for the first time for three minutes. The second treatment, remember, try to keep it on at least five, maybe even longer, okay? And then the third treatment, go ahead and do it for 10 minutes. And that usually, just that alone, that wipes the house. Then you can go ahead and just keep it on really for about two minutes. As soon as I go in the shower, I put my shampoo in there, just let it sit there. Then I take the turpentine soap, and you can use this on the rest of your body too. Remember, this is an all-in-one soap. This is everything. But I like the turpentine, and you can even add some of the turpentine spirits in here too, which really activates, okay, a whole different makes it so it's way, way different. But for this, this one right now, this is pretty strong. And then I use the turpentine soap on my body, okay? And then remember, I wash on my whole body in the shower every day. Every day. So, let's blend this guy up. You got a top on, Trevor? Is it in the... Uh, in the dish right here. <laughs> and you can see the blender that I have here. This is a magnetic blender. We showed you how to make magnetic blenders. Uh, water bottles, okay. This is north, north, south, south. And this is gonna blend this, and it's gonna make it so it'll never separate. So I call this the, the nano blender, because it's gonna take, you can take oil and water and you can blend this for 30 seconds and it will not separate. This is how I get my tea. Look, this thing's all oil and water. Hey, where is it? Look, it's like half a coconut. Did it break apart? No, mm -hmm. it's all one. Taste that, even though it looks pretty nasty. There's no sugar in that thing. It smells sort of weird too, but it's all coconut. What does it taste like? It's good. It means you're going back for a second round. <laughs> <laughs> no, I try it. Remember, this is your morning tea. What's so bad about that? Okay? And that's full of chia seeds. Full of, I have hemp in there too, hemp seeds. Chia seeds. I'm gonna show you guys how to make that. That's got also the flavor that you have. It's got nutmeg. It's got uh, cinnamon. This is what makes it taste super good. Okay, and this is what also, if you want to make it so because you may be hungry, let's say, in an hour in your brain, that's what do you do? You put a little bit of chili in there, a little bit of hot spice, and all of a sudden you got yourself, it calms down. You could put cacao in here, which I usually do, okay? But I use oils. Half the time I'll use like a half of avocado, 
Avocado breakfast tea. Huh, you ever had that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you have to blend it on high with the magnetic blender and it turns magical. It turns like this, it just blends everything into everything. So what kind of tea is in there? Yerba mate. You can do this with coffee, okay? You can do this uh, with, with decaffeinated stuff if you'd like, okay? So I'm gonna turn this on and what you do is just get it going. You can see what's happening to it. If you have a Vitamix, you always turn it down, both of them to zero, because the next person who uses this thing, if it's on high, it goes up in the ceiling. And I've done that happen many times. Okay, so this is the basic formula. Remember, we didn't put aspirin in here. We didn't put anything in here. It smells like soapy mm. soap, but it smells pretty good. Okay, mm. remember, and, and this has got a lot of stuff in here. Mm. Smell it. Looks like, it looks like a good chocolate shake, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this is very smart. It doesn't only smell good, okay? It smells really good. And when you use it, a lot of things that you put on your hair, like remember Selsun Blues? Remember all those dandruff shampoos? What'd you smell like? You smell like a sulfur. Weird, that's because what, what, that was, what was in there? What did I just put in there? Sulfur. Did it smell like that? Weird, stinky stuff? You'd put it on and the rest of the day, people would say, damn, you stink. You smell like sulfur, okay? Mm -hmm. So now what I'm gonna do, okay, we're gonna start part two. Part two is gonna go ahead and add some of these different things here that's gonna make this, like I said, this is, this is like 80% of every problem that most people wanna go ahead and use. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people losing their hair. There are a lot of people thinning their hair. There's a lot of people with scalp rot, okay? Alopecia, where they got big pieces of hair missing out of their body. A lot of people, remember, soap, I would, you know, use only, remember, once you make, this is a year's worth of soap for you, okay? It doesn't cost a lot of money to do, and you'll find out, okay? You only use one soap. Soap is one of the biggest toxics you could ever imagine. I don't care if it's your shampoo, I don't care if it's your conditioner. So once you use this now, what are you gonna do? You just did your hair, you kept it on for, let's say, the, let's say you kept it on for three minutes, that's the first time, just to make sure it doesn't burn. Wash it out, and then when you wash it out, what do you do? If you can, if your skull's okay, you can, if you can get one of these things, if not, you can get anything. You can use the corner of a jar, mm -hmm. okay? And what you're trying to do, you, have to, you should look up on Gray's Anatomy and look up, the, look up the sutures of the skull and look and see what I'm talking about. They're all these little fingerlings, and when your brain breathes, it goes in and out, and that's what you're trying to achieve. Remember, this is a multi-treatment. So, uh, you'll find out that <clears throat> when you use this, if it hurts too much, don't use it at first. It's because you've got a lot of hardness in there and crystals, so stop it. Remember, this, this needs to be softened first before you can break, just like doing the gua sha. I don't bruise, but everybody that starts, it gets bruised. And after a while, depending on you know, how, much, how much tissue you have that doesn't work too well, it takes a while for you not to bruise anymore. Okay, so uh, let me just go through my, make sure we didn't uh, miss anything. There's one thing I missed in here, okay? Sole salt. The salt's very important also. The salt is like a sort of a burning agent, okay? And do we have sole salt here? Um, yes, right over here. The um, white cap, yep. Okay. And sole salt, you can see the big salt crystal, okay? Sole salt is a 26% solution. This is the only salt that I use. I take coarse ground Himalayan salt. I fill it up halfway. I fill the rest with either high pH water or distilled water, okay? I put in magnesium minerals, I put in silica, and you could make this turn into blue-green too by using our beet spirulina powder, which turns this into a phycocyanin, which is a super high vibration, okay? And it does make a difference. The higher tunes that you put in your body, the less hunger that you get. Put a top on there, let it sit for a day. The salt will turn into water, the water will turn into salt at a maximum of 26%. You'll still see salt on the bottom. Use the coarse ground salt when you do this. And what it is, is this turns into a 26% solution and you put this in spray bottles and this is the salt you use on everything. This is conductive salt. It's even really good for uh, post too much sun exposure days. You bet. Just putting that on your skin. Yeah. So what I do is I put in like a teaspoon. You could put more, okay? 
But I like it so there's not too much salt in there with all the stuff in here. And if it does get in your eyes, eh, it burns a little bit, just wipe it out. Mm. So when I keep it in my hair, because this is, a, I do as a steam room, what I use is I take the towel and I wipe my forehead off. If not, it drips down in your eyes every time in two seconds. So I just wipe, once I get it, get it going in there, and you really scrub your fingers. Remember, you're trying to get this stuff into the pore system and you really want to wear it. You can put it in your ears, you can wash your neck with it, it doesn't matter. Remember, this is one soap that does it all. Okay, so okay. let's start part two, uh, unless you have a question right now before we... Coming from the woman's point of view though, what about the ladies that, you know, um, dye their hair off? This, this solution here won't change it. This one may. Mm. This is what I'm saying. This is medicinal pharmacological. This is way stronger. The iodine in here and everything, you think it's going to change your hair? No. No, this is diluted down. Remember, this is a, this is a potion you can so look at. So it won't it. change the hair color? I have never seen it change the hair color. Okay. Mm. I haven't had too many super blonde, blonde people use it though. I don't think it does. Okay. They won't for yours for sure. Okay. Not yours for sure either. Or yours. <laughs> yours, but you've got dark, dark in there. And yeah. It's not chlorine. It's not going to make it bleach or green. Okay. But if, if you did bleach your hair, if it's a henna maybe or something like that, oh, it's going to take that out. Oh, henna's just hanging in there. That's just sort of like mud tent. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. but the dyes, the dyes are bleached in. Okay, and it, and it, what you want is you don't want that stuff in your hair anymore, anyways. What do you think they call it, dye? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, man? We're trying to get that crap out of your head. Right. You want to put it back in? Well, we want to turn it black, though. You can do all. You can use a variety of different things to go ahead and change the color. Okay, but the last thing, you're trying to get healthy. Mm. Vanity's one other piece behind when you're healthy. <laughs> Okay, and you know, when you have gray hairs, that means you have wisdom. Because mm. when you don't have gray hairs, that means you haven't had enough experience to get them. Okay, so a lot of times I see guys like Trevor, and he does have a, a lot that he can teach us. Mm. But when he gets more gray hairs, we know he's got a lot of wisdom, because he's gone through a lot to get those. <laughs> you too. These guys all are smart, smart guys. Okay? As you get older, you find out, and that's where you guys are ahead of the game, you find out what you should do versus what you did do, mm. okay? And this is where I, I had to re, re, go backwards. You're going backwards. You're not really, you're going forward. You're going forward. You're going backwards, you're drying out, mm -hmm. okay? But as you get over 40 years old, I lost 40 pounds. You know, I always show people, look, I'm an old guy, okay, you can see. Your body gets very lean. I eat one meal a day. That's it. It's because my body has become so efficient, okay, that, that when I eat, I can't even eat that much. Okay? Look how lean he is. And he's got muscles. Okay? You've got muscles too, like I said. Okay? You're going to find out that the sugar is just going to go ahead and make you so you have to maintain way more. But once your system goes ahead and actually learns how to break down this oil fuel, you'll say that this is, this is powerful fuel because it's endurance. And the sugar is a fuel. And it's not that you can't have it. It's just that you use it for when you need it. And it does. You notice that, Trevor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions before we start part two? On the treatment, remember this is a simple treatment. Remember, you put it on first time for three minutes. Okay, if it burns a little bit, let it work. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't get it in your eyes. And if you do, just wipe it out with a towel. Okay, it's not gonna hurt you anyways. This here, we have DMSO. This is a recipe that's way more advanced. Okay, I don't even like to go over any of the things we even talk about because people think they can go ahead and throw all this stuff together. No, there's a little recipe here that I've been playing with for many years. And then from here, guys, figure it out yourselves. I'm not asking you to do this. Okay, I'm just a student like you are, and all I'm doing right now is showing you some things that are, these are, in, everything I showed you on here, is there any chemicals, synthetics, hormones, antibiotics? No, it's all natural. Okay, so the last thing, once you clean your hair, you need to relubricate it. So what do you do? What I like to do is I take our pure silica, okay, and this pure silica is strong. It's a four times concentrate. So you can, you can, I can look, I can spray it mine. Oh, it doesn't burn. Okay, open your eyes, look. Oh, no, oh, open. Oh. Ah, there we go. Did it burn? No, it feels good. It sort of glues them up. No, it looms them up. Okay, look. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, so what I do is I put the silica in my hair and I push it in my scalp. Remember, what is your hair made out of? Okay, what is your skin made out of? Collagen, silica, all these things, which is your shield. This is your armor shield. 
so things don't get in your body. The silica protects, no, nope, a little bit. It lets it rebuild. You take a lot of silica in your body, you know what happens is your hair grows, and if your hair doesn't grow an inch a month, three quarters of an inch at least in a month, you're sick. Okay, remember, this is a supercomputer, and if my hair doesn't grow, and you'll see a lot of people, they get mentally dysfunctional, when their hair stops growing is because your hair is a detox organ and it's pulling. Hair is a detox organ. Hair is a detox organ. This is why you have hair in these areas. And you think you have hair under your arms for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you got hair fear for? What do I need? What's it for? It's because this machine's smart, and it didn't come from nothing. It's a definite, beautiful, unknowable creation. The hairs are detoxification orders. As the hairs grow, it pulls out. That's why you can do a hair analysis and find mercury, cadmium, aluminum, lead. You can find it in the hair. Why? Because the hairs pulled it out. So once you put the right materials and you open it up, the hair's gonna grow like crazy. And so this is what this does. Remember, this promotes hair growth. It's not putting chemicals. There's no perfumes. There's no synthetics. And look, when's the last time you put coffee in your hair? Okay, and this is something like, that a, a lot of ancient places used to do with people that have lice and all different things where they're losing their hair. And what does it do? The caffeine just stimulates the growth. But you still need the materials to be able to make it. So that's why I like using the copper, like I said, because all these things that we just put together, you could just use if you wanted to. You can take the soap, this, that's, if that's all you had, use that. <laughs> if that's all you got. And if you've got the minerals, that would be the next thing I would put in it. And the MSM, you bet, okay? Citric acid, remember, okay? The fulvic acid, the copper, the niacin, this is a potion. But if you only had this, use it. It still will work. For a not detoxification, what do you think it's gonna work for? Hair stimulation, mm -hmm. okay? This whole potion does everything sort of like in one thing. This is why I've made it because if not, this is too hard for everybody to follow because there's too many bloody recipes and it's not gonna, it, people aren't gonna do it. What, and then people say, what makes you think that this protocol even works? Remember, I've been doing this for 40 years and I know that if you guys don't have it simple, even though this looks tough, this is nothing. You make it one time. If I didn't talk, this is five minutes to make. Okay, that's all it is. And then when I make it, what do I have? I got myself a gift for someone for Christmas. Especially when I see that guy over there wearing the rug on his head. Forget the rug, brother. You need to clean the scalp. Okay? What all that glue you're putting on there and all that stuff that holds the rug down. All the hair dyes that everybody puts in and makeup or anything. We're not talking face. We're talking the scalp. We've talked a lot about cleaning the face. We've talked a lot about cleaning the skin, cleaning the hands and feet. Okay? But, but the scalp, and this is, like I said, this is not for vanity. This is actually a treatment to be able to take the toxicity out of our brains, okay? The calvarium that holds our brain, which is this, this uh, uh, very thick piece of bone up here. And these bones up here, like I said, if they don't breathe in and out, then you're not gonna exercise. You're gonna say, I don't like to. Really, I get headaches, you say, when I do headstands, I can't do it. Well, what do you think, why? is because you've got a lot of stuff up here that's not working right. So this does help a ton of different things. And like I said, it may take you three months, okay, before you go ahead and forget about the hair mites you lost and your hair looks better and everything else, but it may take three months, okay, before you can start to even start to use this, as I said, to break down all this different stuff because your head may go ahead and have a lot of crystals in it. So the last thing I finish off with is I take some uh, uh, coconut oil. Where's my coconut oil? <coughs> And this is my coconut oil and my cacao butter, okay? And my coconut oil, I just, I, I put like, I have a whole thing, we just showed you how to make cacao, uh, so instead of us using cacao butter and coconut oil separately, again, I try to put it all in one thing and I just showed everybody how to make a cacao coconut oil elixir. It's got iodine in here, it's got MSM in here. Okay, it's got a lot of the stuff that we just put in, in your scalp, but this is gonna go on your skin. And then when you're finished, you put this on, you put some in your hand like this, and you, and you put it in your, your scalp. Really get it in there, really rub it in, okay? And, and you put this on every part of your body when you get out of the, out of the uh, uh, shower. I spray magnesium. And if you're gonna, you know what, you want a therapy, and you're not going out of the house, no big deal. Spray the magnesium with the silica into your pores and let it get in there. Okay, let it soak in. It may burn, and if it burns, you know what? It's because you've got cuts on your head. Okay, if you put this on anywhere in your body and it burns, it's because you have a cut. It's like having a cut and putting alcohol on it. It burns, it's because you have a cut. 
If you put alcohol on your skin, if it doesn't have a burn, it doesn't hurt at all. And you don't get drunk, okay? But remember, the magnesium goes in and it pushes things in. And so I just do my, you know, and, and like I said, you could even take a lot of coconut oil one, one night and do a coconut oil with the magnesium, okay, with the silica, and you really rub it in and grease your whole head up and put, put on something that basically you can go to bed with and just let it sit in there for 10 hours. It's really good too. Super good. Remember, those microbes eat sebum. They don't eat coconut oil. They eat sebum, which is this thick oil that comes out of our skin, okay? And you'll notice that's why a lot of black people have the best skin in the world. Black don't crack, okay? Why? Because you got oil, okay? As long as you eat the right diet. Because you have to have oil in your diet and be able to produce oil. Where do you think it comes from? <laughs> Meat and sugar? <laughs> no. And then how come a lot of white people, you'll see, they look like an old leather bag by the time they're 50 years old. <laughs> Wait a minute, okay? Same thing. So you can go ahead and manipulate your genetics because some genetics make oil very easily, and that's why they stay so young. And some other genetics, they need to put a law. Remember, the white white race, okay, needs the sun. And for some reason, a lot of white white people don't like to get out in the sun because they get sunburned. You do the skin cleaning protocols. You learn how to make melanin on your body. I used to have white as white butt, and my family. Remember, we're from Malta. If you don't go out in the sun, they get really white too. But if I go out in the sun, come dark again. It's because my body constantly produces more melanin and more melanin and more melanin. And <clears throat> if you do have skin fungus and all different things, remember we have different protocols that you can go ahead and do to be able to, to get rid of that. And so stay away from all lotions. We're wasting your money. Stay away from all perfumes, essential oils only. Okay? Stay away from, from just, you don't need conditioners. You don't need anything. The best conditioner in the world, just tell me. Silica. I spray it in my hair every day, like this. I put about that much, and, 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 I, and I put it in, and it makes, it makes your hair thick. The silica goes into the hair. And what it does is it makes it so it's, it's got, like uh, when I used to have long hair, I'd spray this in there, and I could go like this, and it's tangle-free. Yeah, if not, I had to use this stupid conditioner, and the stuff that only works is the poisonous stuff. The stuff with all this weird stuff. Okay, any other questions here before? Part two is gonna be real quick. Uh, we're just going to add some of these different things. And you can see, look, look at how beautiful the magnetic blender is. Did anything separate in there? Mm -hmm. It's a chocolate shake. If I left this here, you know someone's going to try it. <laughs> okay, check that out, Harry. Look, did anything, did anything unbind? That's the magic of this blender. Again, showed you how to make bottles, blenders, and beds magnetically. Okay, part two.